We're with an FC TV with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to Chelmsford at home in the National League South. Adam, uh, a big clash against another promotion rival for us. What are you thinking ahead of it? Um, yeah, obviously uh, they're on a good run as well. Um, third versus sixth, so uh, hopefully uh, a big crowd um, comes out and supports us for the game. Um, yeah, it's a real tough game. We had two tough tests with them last year. We've, we've been there in the trophy and um, uh, FA Cup, I think, in, in previous years, and it's always been a tough, tough place to go. And you know, obviously, them coming to our place it will be no different. So they're on a good run. We're on a good run. So you know, both teams will be looking to, to come away with three points. And focusing on our good run at the moment, uh, two wins over Christmas. How much have, has that bolstered the squad going into the new year? Oh yeah, certainly hope so. We're definitely like want to put a run of uh, results together now. Um, obviously back-to-back -back wins, back-to-back -back clean sheets and, and good performances as well so hoping we can build on that. Um, you know, it's been a bit of the challenge all season for us to try and get a little run going after some good performances um, so yeah it's, it's down to us to, to stay in the, the right frame of mind and, and be ready come Saturday. Looking at the squad for Saturday what's the availability like? Obviously a few players with knocks at the moment do you think the squad's going to be fairly robust and fit for it? Yeah, it's uh, going to be tested, there's no doubt about that. Obviously Bailey's um, loan to finish now, so he's, he's gone back to Brighton. Um, we've got one or two that are struggling with illness uh, as well. Um, got one or two that are carrying knocks, so we'll see how they come through. So yeah, it's uh, going to be um, maybe a day where other players get opportunities um, and you know, with that got to be ready to take it so uh, like I say I really felt there was a, a togetherness and squad come together um, after after when was it Monday um, so yeah just hoping we can can build on that and whoever's selected um, are ready to go and uh, fight fight for their place and fight for the team. A couple of players in particular that haven't been around for a little bit Jesse Starkey and uh, Chimmer who signed last month who yeah. been around what's the situation with those two? Um, Yudoka is I think we've like released him from his registration. Um, it's a couple of things he struggled to get down from where he was based. Um, then got an injury, um, and yeah, just um, just felt like commitment-wise um, would have been a bit of a problem. Um, Jesse's close to be back training. I don't think he's quite with the group. He's gonna do some running with um, stretch today, so. We'll see how we pull through that. Um, hoping all's well, we can join in with the warm up on Saturday, and then be available for you know two sessions next week. Um, so it should be available for next Saturday. So yeah, it just shouldn't be too too far along. Um, we're hoping Cash is back and available. We'll, we'll see how he gets on tonight. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of positive bits in there as well. Um, but yeah, like I say, we'll, um, we'll be ready uh, come Saturday. Looking at the squad depth at the moment, with a lone player leaving in Bailey and, and Chima not being around anymore, does that free up any budget and is there any moves you'd like to make? No, yeah, potentially. Um, definitely got, got to look at it. Obviously, we've only really got one fit set and a half at the club, although Joel's been excellent there all season. Um, and Kane's done excellent left back as well for us, so you know, it seems like there's a bit of a settle back four up here and there um, and they're getting a good understanding with how we want to play so you know that's that's good um, but yeah we've got to look at it I don't want to disrupt the the chemistry and the team spirit as well um, you know, a couple of illnesses um, at the moment but you know when everyone's back fit you're probably going to be leaving two players out the squad um, so if you bring players in on top of that um, you know it's going to potentially disrupt the squad a little bit so yeah we've got to look at it I think there's a bit of a togetherness now so we want to try and keep that and build on that and um, I think it would be a case of if players were to leave um, then or if players are getting to get in any more injuries then we'll have to look at you know um, bringing in some replacements. One player you have brought in recently was Josh Jeffries from Southampton could you tell us anything about him? Yeah um, you know Got real high hopes for him down at Southampton. 18 year old. Um, I think he's coming with the kind of pedigree that you know Carl Rushworth come with. Um, so yes, 
only seen him a couple of sessions. Um, obviously, very used to how we want to play. He said it's very similar to how he plays at Southampton, so you know that shouldn't take him too long. And you know we've got two fantastic goalkeepers now for the next month and and fighting, battling it out for um, the, the starting slot. And um, you know it's going to be great for Rocco. He's on the back of a real two really good performances, two clean sheets, and now he's got a bit of competition um, to push him. So um, I thought. We had to be clever when we've been looking to bring that competition in for Rocco. Um, wanted to do it when he was on a positive and he's on a bit of a high. Um, yeah, but he's, he's um, Josh is you know, goalkeeper with real, real high pedigree, and um, you know we'll add definitely to, to the squad.